today from St Cuthbert's in Anvil, we look at Jesus' parable of the weeds and the tares. Look on this field. Wheat and weeds are growing together, and this often happens. Could this say something about each one of us today? Wherever there is a garden, you'll also find weeds. We don't plant them and we don't want them. But as today's reading in Matthew's Gospel says, somehow they always manage to show up. Weeds happen, whether it's in the garden at home or in the garden of our lives. So we open in prayer. The Lord knows each and every one of us and loves us. Sometimes it feels as though God has drifted away from us or we from him. Given all the troubles of the day, we often look more closely at them. Let us come to open our hearts to God's loving presence. Lord, help us to know you are in all of life's circumstances. Our reading is from St Matthew's Gospel. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, First collect the weeds, and tie them in bundles to be burned, and then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. We consider how in telling parables Jesus uses picture images from everyday life. The wheat and the weeds represent our lives. They grow side by side and can intertwine. And sometimes what looks like wheat is really false wheat, a weed. It means that every gardener must be discerning about what they're growing, what needs to be tended to, and what needs to be uprooted. A bit like our lives, really. We are all a mixture of weeds and weeds. Only God can help us make sense of the mix and can love who we are. I wonder what feeds and sustains our lives today. What relationships and beliefs do we value? How might this reading from Matthew help you in your daily life? Pastor Tom Stiegel suggests that in each heart are both weeds and wheat. And we are not wise enough to know what, in fact, is what. Better to let God and the angels do their work. Perhaps we need to learn to accept and forgive this mixed bag of reality of who we are and everyone else. To accept the weeds means we have some real wisdom about ourselves. It means we become the people God intends us to be, compassionate, loving and forgiving, even for ourselves. Some final thoughts. We are such a mixed group of people. Some may be at the top of the game and others just struggle to get through each day. Yet God draws us where we will find friendship, peace and hope, not only for our lives right now, but for the times to come. We pray, Lord, stand us up again, dust us off and put us back on the pathways of service and reconciliation. Warm our hearts with your love. Lift our spirits with your power. For we ask these things 
In the name of Jesus, our Saviour. Amen. Christ has walked this path, the path that we are on. Angels walk with us, the path that we are on. Father, Son, and Spirit, keep us in your hands and that we are on Christ has walked Christ has walked i